Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Welcome to the Rock and Review. I'm thrilled to have on the talented singer, songwriter, let's see, pianist, guitarist, you name it, Rebecca Magnuson. Uh, who is heading up? She sings. Yes. And and this is going to be uh, you know a big performance next week at the Franklin Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's so great to have you on the show. Thank you. One it's of our one of our mutual friends, Tammy pleasure. McDonald. Uh, Tammy McDonald introduced us, and uh, and she said you've got to get Rebecca on the show. Well, Tammy co-wrote five of the songs of the thirteen track wow. uh, original cast recording. That's amazing, you know. Yes. And I, I was going through all your website and everything, and watching the videos and reading everything. And uh, you know, Bobby Braddock that you involved also. Yes, indeed. A Country good Music of Hall of Fame, also Songwriter Hall of Fame. He's <sighs> been a dear friend for a very long time. So amazing. Yeah. And then, uh, then you had a, a producer that's slightly well known. Yeah, Jim Kimball. Um, <laughs> Jim Kimball just won a Grammy this yeah. past year for his work with Reba McIntyre. Right. He's I, her I guitarist. Saw that. A very dear friend for a long time also. You really so. brought out the heavy hitters for this. I did. Well, I'm now, so and blessed. I, and I want to make sure that our viewers know also, on it, Rebecca, to where, uh, you know, she sings, it's like you, you're using theater and your music to sort of shine a light on an issue that many people don't want to talk about. Right. Yeah, She Sings is a truth-inspired one-woman musical, and its message is to bring awareness to verbal, emotional, and financial abuse. Right. And um, I, I've worked very closely with knockout abuse in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. over the years, yeah. and that really um, sheds a light on domestic violence. Right. But I think the silent killer, the thing that we don't talk about as much, because right. people feel ashamed to speak about it, it's the verbal... Mm -hmm abuse, the emotional abuse that can go on um, right. and you can have a person, a perpetrator who could be head of the vestry at the church. Right. Um, the person could be a coach or anybody out in the community mm -hmm. that's often charming and um, whereas um, the victim unfortunately feels ashamed and uh, alone, very right. alone. And so I wrote this musical so that I could give a voice to these people who have been through this type of abuse. Right. And music, as we know, is so healing. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, for all goodness. of us. Well, I wanted to bring up to mm -hmm. Honor Rebecca to where when, when you started writing the songs for this, that really wasn't the idea. You were just writing songs, you know, uh, involved in, in friends and everything else mm -hmm. that, that you were involved with. And then it's kind of revealed itself to you with She Sings that you needed to do something like yes, this. Yes, I needed the narrative, not just the songs. Mm -hmm. And I have been writing these songs over the past 10 years. And about two years ago, it just clicked. It was just, I knew that this needed to become a musical. And I, I am in this um, really unique position as a singer-songwriter right. and also as a storyteller to have a platform mm -hmm. where I can give um, survivors of this type of abuse a voice because well, I think they feel so voiceless. Totally. Yes. Well, and, and I got to tell you, Rebecca, I'm so impressed, you know, not only with your incredible songwriting and everything else, but pulling something together like this in only two years, you know, I mean, Wow, what a feat. I mean, you know, and, and not only with your storytelling and your songs, but also, you know, you're going to have dancers involved. I you, am. You've got duets set up. Yes, with Adam Cunningham. He will be singing Amazing Voice. He's, uh, he was on The Voice right. as a finalist. I believe it was last season. I think you're right. Yeah, and so he'll be singing a song that I co-wrote with Country Music Hall of Fame, Bobby Braddock, <laughs> a dear friend of mine, right. uh, World Without Love. Mm -hmm. um, and then also a duet on a song called Lie Here that I co-wrote with uh, uh, Tammy McDonald. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, and I, the great thing, too, and I want to make sure that our viewers find your website where they can uh, get tickets, find out more information about the show and about the music and everything. Yes. And what is the website for that? www.shesings.com. And there's also music videos there. So if you would like to hear some of the songs from the musical, um, there's actually four music videos. One of them, the title is Manipulator, mm -hmm. about this very situation. And my voice is so healing and empowering right. uh, for victims yes. of this abuse. Well, you know, and, and I, think it's, uh, I think this is going to be one of those shows also um, that, that helps so many people, Rebecca, to where, 
you know, I think you're going to have survivors and people involved in these situations reaching out to you even as they attend this and even as they buy Absolutely. your album. And I know your album came out recently. And, uh, you know, She Sings is available on Amazon, iTunes. Yes. Now, also, if they come to the show uh, or they download it from your, get it from your website, they can get a signed copy too, right? That's right. Yes, indeed. You know, so. you might have to come out with vinyl eventually on this. I'm just, uh, just a suggestion <laughs> exactly. for your label to consider. You yes. Know, with the, you know, and, and I know that, you know, it's, it's not called a CD release. There's a special term for it's it. It's an original cast recording because it's a musical. Right. And so that's, yeah. That's, that, that feels artsy. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Well, yes. it's so cool, too, that, you know, when you buy your ticket for She Sings, that not only are you going to enjoy an incredible uh, theater play and everything as well, but also you guys are having an after party after. We are for the CD release. So yeah. the initial release was um, last week, on yeah. November 16. My opening night there at Atlas Performing Arts Center uh, was on the 16th, and we released this um, original cast recording. Well, and, I, and I've got to ask then, you about this, too. Yes. Now, now, with so these So it is shows, available for purchase at this point. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yes. And, and you want a signed copy, I think. But, yes. <laughs> uh, but now, uh, going forward, there's going to be more shows. It's going to, you know, continue. How long do you envision this, Rebecca? You know, as, as this thing gathers steam, which I personally believe it will, um, you'll have the upcoming dates and everything on the website and on your social and Facebook? Yes. And I envision a tour where mm -hmm. we can travel widely and, and share this message of healing right. and, and bringing a voice to survivors. And I think it needs to be. Absolutely. And, and also I want to bring up, too, um, that a portion of the tickets is going to go to Thistle Farms here in Nashville. Yes. Ten, and so yes. uh, what, what a great way also to help, you know, those women yes. uh, that have had, you know, domestic violence or whatever in their lives. I'm Thistle Farms blown does great away work. by the work that they do locally and the transition that over a two year period when they enter into the program at Thistle right. Farms and then they leave the program, go out into the community mm -hmm. and share that message, paying it forward. That's really what we should be doing. Right. Yes. Well, I got to bring this up now. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of our viewers may not know that you come from a musical family. I do. I do. So, so tell me a little Dad about Dad was this. a Baptist minister. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Right. I used to talk like I was from New York, you know. <laughs> and you don't sound and like that. I don't sound like that at all. <laughs> but by the third, so Mom was a concert pianist. She had played for Billy Graham Crusades. Oh, my goodness. How yes. great. Yes. And by third grade, I was the church pianist at my dad's church. My mother played the wow. organ. So I grew up in that. And then by the time I got to high school, I started studying at Chautauqua Institution in Chautauqua, New York, right. with a world-renowned concert pianist by the name of Ozan Marsh, right. Right. Um, who has sadly uh, passed since then. Um, and then I went on and got my degree in piano and finally wow. found myself in Nashville. <laughs> and I think that was kind of inevitable at that right. point, right? And my first deal was with Garth Brooks Publishing Company, Major Bob Music. Oh, my goodness. Through Bob Doyle. Wow. Yes. So you're an instant success <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just doing what I love right. and what I'm so passionate about. And in my own life, I've gotten past my own difficult experiences mm -hmm. through the therapy of music, right. through sitting at the piano, playing classical pieces, writing songs, and expressing myself and also for other people, right. expressing giving them a voice and telling their stories. I think it's just amazing to be able to do that within a, a one-woman play. And, and I think that, you know, you are giving voice to others through your songs mm -hmm. and through the storytelling. And I think that people are going to come away from this really feeling so much better. But I do, I think it's one of those things, cathartic, to where you're going to have people reaching out to you going, okay, Rebecca, here's my story. So it may be Absolutely. she sings two down the road, you yes. know, two years from now. I have a blog at um, www.shesings.com where people can do exactly that. Oh, wow. They can go to the blog and they can tell their story and have that platform also and begin to speak and not feel alone right. and hopeless and and to be heard and share Absolutely. and and i think that you know you sharing their stories through she sings uh gives them voice as well and also the strength to leave the perpetrator right. it, it can be very difficult especially when financial abuse is involved mm -hmm. and they don't have the funding to leave um but there is hope, and I've seen it with so many of my friends. And even performing these songs over the past few years, people have come up and just, I'll see tears in their eyes. Yeah. And they'll say, thank them. you so much. Mm -hmm. One of the songs, My Voice, 
at my website, um, shesings.com, uh, you can see the music video, and it's just so empowering. Wow, to, just incredible. Yeah. To, well, I, once again, I'm just recommending to, uh, you know, you need to get a ticket. Go see the show. It's going to be here next week, Franklin, Tennessee, at the Franklin Theater. She Sings. You can go to the website, get your ticket, and then uh, enjoy hearing the music. Hang around for the party afterwards. Yes. Get a signed copy of the You'll album. You'll be there, right? Yeah, I need to be there. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, it's like it's, it, what, after I went to the website and everything, uh, the videos were really inspiring, mm -hmm. and the music, Thank and, and you. plus the gorgeous picture of your Gibson J200. Oh yes, can't which forget that. Which I'm looking that. forward to seeing that on the stage at Franklin. <laughs> oh, but, Eric, uh, thank you so much. It's for thrilled having to have you on here. You know, I it's, really it's, appreciate it. So. I'm so glad that you are doing this with She Sings, and I think it's going to help a lot of people. And I appreciate you sharing this through music and creating this incredible play. Thank you. So be sure and get your ticket for next Wednesday. It's, uh, it's November 29th. She sings at Franklin, Tennessee, and you'll see Rebecca Magnuson. Thanks for watching the Rock Interview. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.